Hello, my beautiful collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching and supporting as always. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the content. Um, let's go ahead and see what in the name of source is going on here. So we're starting out here with the Ten of Cups, but this is letting me know there's, that there is either a couple or a family that are at a stalemate because a King of Cups is no longer accepting payment to cause some type of uh, stagnation or ending for another energy. So this King of Cups in the past may have accepted money um, to cause some type of chaos to take some type of action against someone but the truth has been revealed so this couple is having some type of blockage right they are not happy about the decision this king of cup has made to refuse this payout to refuse this bribery because they were paying this person and a lot of other people behind the scenes um they also do not want this king of cups or a specific king of cups in this dynamic to take action towards you and you could be a star c you could be a queen of pentacles but they do not want this masculine coming towards you and this is because of who you are there's also a lot of money on the line be because these people are greedy um these people know when you come around there's going to be positive change there is something this king of cups cannot let go of so he is having some type of mental torment right this person is losing sleep this person is living in a lot of regrets because of actions he took in the past to cause some type of illusion um this person is moving away from these people this person is taking action to get away from these people there may be someone here on the run it's like run 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 as fast as you can you can't catch me i'm the gingerbread man you're a monster. I'm not the monster here. You are. You and the rest of those fairy tale creatures poisoning my perfect world. Okay, so star seeds, we're supposed to be the fairy tale creatures that are poisoning the perfect kingdom of the earthly people, even though we come here to help. Okay. So someone is trying to separate themselves from these people. They've all been causing a whole lot of illusions to other people about you, about a situation. For some of you, this has to do with some type of money, some type of resource, some type of new beginning. We see the Ace of Pentacles out here. So someone does not want you getting this new beginning. Someone does not want this King of Cups having a brand new beginning with you as well. For some of you, this was just a King of Cups that accepted some type of bribery in the past, but he's no longer willing to work with these people. And for some of you, this could be someone you're meant to work with, whether in love or in business. This is what's going on. This person is turning a new leaf and moving on, hoping to seal the karma waters with you. But there is some type of confession this person is going to have to do. It says someone is extremely embarrassed because they may have listened to something a group of people told them about you or something a couple or someone told them about you it's like someone is very much committed behind the scenes to lying to smearing your character and this is because this person does not want you to succeed in life they don't want to see you thriving in life they're trying to block any type of forward movement for you um so it's quite a lot going on there was some type of plan to cause you some type of ending someone wanted you trapped in something that had nothing to do with you for some of you there was some type of plan to have you in prison um under fraudulent accusations and things like there so this is like someone accusing you of murder someone accusing you of stealing money things of that nature but that is not the truth someone or a group of people want people to believe that you may be someone that is mentally unstable, emotionally unstable. You're someone imbalanced. But the truth is being seen about you. You are being seen as someone committed, someone hardworking, someone creative, someone business minded. You are going to be in the public eye for some of you. And some of you, you're going to be extremely successful in business. There's something you're working on that people are trying to bring an ending to you could be speaking the truth living in your truth standing your ground things of that nature and it's pissing these people off you could be someone that's confident as well and it's pissing these people off um you know things like that only bother people that are insecure and unhealed let's say that again being confident only bothers people that are insecure and unhealed because uh, why at the end of the day will you have a problem with someone else loving themselves and putting out positive energy in the world, into the world? Make it make sense. It just cannot. So anyways, there's something you are working on that is supposed to take off. Or for some of you, this is in the past. You were doing something, working on something that was supposed to take off for you, but people did something to cause an ending, to bring it to an end because you may have been extremely well, uh, good at what you did 
or they just didn't want to see you succeeding and because they destroyed what you were working on they expected you to be down about it to be you know a, a crying uh a, a just feeling disappointed and not wanting to move forward in life but you said okay you did that that's your business i know the most high has better for me you destroy what i was working on or you block my forward movement for this Maybe that's not what I was meant to do. Uh, so this was for like your growth, right? You learn a lesson through that experience and those lessons are different for each of you and it's quite okay. Do not let people uh, think that they control your life or your destiny. These are delusional people that have this type of mindset where they think that they have some type of control over how other people move. People that move in like group mentality, cult mentalities, they feel insecure at the end of the day. They feel like they have to be part of something in order to feel validated, in order to feel accepted, in order to feel like they're worth something, right? And when you have that type of mentality that should let you know automatically that you uh, have some healing to do, as we all do, but you are at a different level of needing healing. When you have to be in a collective group of people in in order to feel like you matter okay but you are choosing to move forward or you choose to move forward you're still you know living in your truth the universe is still guiding you on your path um so there's really nothing people could do to stop you stop your destiny you are going to fulfill your purpose there's a king of pentacles in here that went within to seek the truth um because something just was not adding up it's like they either wanted to pay this king of pentacles to cost you some type of ending for some of you there's a king of pentacles that's been sent to cause you some type of illusion right so that you can walk away from something that matters to you so they may be coming in to offer you some money and they know that you are speaking the truth it may bother them they know that you are someone not from this planet um they know that you are the real deal so they may want to come in and um, pay you some money cause some some type of illusion so you can walk away from what it is you're meant to do but the most high is putting blockages in place your ancestors are putting blockages in place to block these people from coming towards you there is a king of pentacles that is walking away from this illusion this lie this smear campaign this just this illusion these people have been causing about you i don't know what it is that you have a whole coat or a coven that's coming after you but honey you will be a okay you're showing up here as the star seed that means that you are someone divinely guided and protected you are the truth. Uh, there is nothing people can do to block your forward movement. There may be something in here about sacrifices and things like that, but you're not going to be anyone's victim. You are no one's victim. Okay, let me say that again. You are not going to be anyone's victim and you are no one's victim. Okay, so stand your ground, protect what's yours, keep moving forward in life. People want to, you know, cause you stagnation, have you second guessing yourself, have you uh, wondering if you are on the right path in life, but you are. Okay, you are. Um, people that are insecure, again, are the ones that go through all of these things, do all of these things to block other people. People that are money hungry, have lost a sense of who they are and do not even know who they are, are the ones that are okay for taking actions for money. That means that these types of people are controlled by money. They don't have any self-worth. The amount of money in their bank account is the only thing that validates them. Outside of that, there's nothing to them. And it's unfortunate because we're all amazing people. You know how hard it is to incarnate as a human being? It is extremely hard. And for a lot of people to incarnate, to choose, just to choose to reside in a low vibrational energy is extremely disappointing how can you go through all of that trouble of incarnating just so you can live to be low vibration and to cause problems for yourself and for other people right to never give yourself the opportunity to become the best version of yourself make it make sense it's not and it never will so this king of pentacles is walking away this person is choosing to find fulfillment in life he knows whatever he's been a part of whatever he participated in is not something that's high vibrational it's not something that's worth his time it's actually very immature it says a lot about these people character that are going through to this extent to block someone it is just really unfortunate and i give people like this kudos for you know us uh, standing their ground taking a new turn in life and trying to 
turn a new leaf, right? Because this is what we want for people. We want people to heal. The more healed people we have, the higher the vibration of our Mother Earth, right? So that she can uh, continue to ascend and elevate because Mother Earth is alive. And how we raise her vibration is by raising our own vibration, eliminate, eliminating wickedness and evil in the world. This is how we heal Mother Nature mother earth and raise her vibration right uh, you don't need a billion dollars in your bank account to change anything you, you don't need a billion dollars in your account to raise the vibration of the planet right what you need is to heal yourself and to help other people find healing and to resonate at a higher level of existence okay and that's what we try to do here on this platform okay um, there is a king of swords in here that may be interested in you, queen of pentacles. This person sees you as extremely uh, committed to your life, your uh, business, or whatever it is, your work. Someone sees you as very down to earth, right? So they are standing their ground to defend you. Someone may want to come and expose some type of secret to you, or someone may be coming in to block something for you, and I'm not sure why. This person may want to come in and give you some type of false love offer. This is not someone that operates is in unconditional love with unconditional love this is someone that loves based on condition right um so this person themselves has a lot of healing to do someone here may be trying to bring balance into a situation so instead of them giving you a love offer they may maybe try to tell you the truth for a few of you but for some of you this king of swords is coming in to cause some type of illusion there's a lot he's not going to tell you uh for some of you this person is being blocked from your energy altogether because spirit already knows their intention and it's not genuine it's not something that resonates with your vibration so they're being blocked altogether out of your energy right someone is being told to sit the heck down stay where they are uh, uh think about why they lost everything that they lost some people may have lost a lot of money in here because they're thieves so someone who is a thief wanted to come in to steal your steal your joy st joy steal your love block your love um because they thought you and them had some type of beautiful connection or they thought that they were good looking enough that when they come in your presence you will be smitten by them um and then you know lose your mind over them whatever um however these karmics thing as for me honey i don't care how beautiful you are i have to get to know you first before anything happens if if i don't like what i see what i hear uh-uh it ain't happening so you know some people are this superficial they think that just because they look good, then they are your type. But that's not how it works for some of us. But this person is showing up here as a thief. This person is still wanting to take action to come towards you, to cause you illusions and things like that. But they're being blocked. A lot of these people are being blocked out of your energy because they just don't get it. It's like people are trying to block you and they're realizing that they cannot, but they're going to keep trying to block you while they are accumulating karma and endings. Some of these people are losing jobs or are about to lose their jobs, lose marriages, lose homes. Um, a lot of my readings lately has had to do with someone being pulled out of a home, someone losing their job, someone getting a divorce, just a whole lot, someone getting sick, passing away. There is someone currently sick. And this is because of actions they took against you, okay? And this is how the universe brings balance. It's like someone keeps doing something and it's like your ancestors and your angels are there like causing mayhem in their life. Like hey, when you stop messing with our divine being, we will stop messing with you. We'll stop causing endings for you, okay? And they're stubborn as heck, so they're going to keep going and your ancestors are going to keep tearing their behind up right until they do what they're supposed to do which is leave you the heck alone so you can thrive in life your forward movement is to protect that you are taking charge of your life and moving forward this is judgment this is part of your soul contract this is what you incarnated to do part of what you incarnated to do to trust the universe that no matter what is going on no matter what people are doing to you uh even though you didn't do anything to them for them to come after you if you keep going, the universe will keep protecting you. So this is part of your soul contract for you to trust the universe to guide and protect you regardless of what's going on around you. 
Trust them. They have your best interest at heart. They are not going to let anything happen to you. You are you are here on a mission with a purpose and you will fulfill that, okay? So judgment has been called. Things are going in your favor. Things are moving forward. You're still going to be moving forward in life. Your abundance is secure. It is protected. Someone may want to come in and, and give you some type of uh, childish and immature love offer. You're not here for that. You can't be a queen of pentacles and be dating a knight of cups. The love from them is not genuine. That's that flip-flop love. One moment they love you and the next moment, moment they cannot stand you. Um, these are people that fall in love easily with everybody. So every pretty girl they come across, they're in love with them until they get what they want from them. And then they move on to the next person. So the love from a king of cups, I mean a knight of cups, is not one that is balanced, right? It's immature. So you, if you want to date a cups, you need to be dating like a king of cups, not a knight of cups. You're wasting your time if you're a queen of pentacles dating a knight of cups. You might as well say you don't take yourself serious anyways. So someone may want to come towards you, give you this immature love offer. Uh, they want to show you that they're passionate about you. Again, it's, it's, again, it's not happening. This person wants to come towards you because they know balance is being brought into a situation. You are receiving good karma. Things are moving in your favor. They've done all of this work behind the scenes to cause you blockages and things like that, but nothing they've done has worked. So now this is like, if you can't beat them, join them, but you will not be a, a, a partnering up with this person. This could be someone from your past that's wanting to come in to speak some type of truth to you. You don't care. You already know the truth. If you don't know it, the most high will review it to you. Someone from your past took quite a lot of actions against you. This is a thief. This person may have stolen, stolen a lot from you and you don't even know it. So if someone from your past, whether it's a lover or a family member, whoever comes to you to speak the truth, you don't need to hear it. Wish them well and send them on their merry way. Okay. And you go on your merry way. Okay. The universe is taking care of what uh, needs to be taken care of. Put faith in them that they will provide for you. They will guide you and they will protect you. You just have to be willing to listen and pay attention. Um, someone does see that your work is paying off. It's like, this is what they've been trying to do is block this work that you are doing, but they know you're someone that is truth. It's like someone knowing the truth about you, knowing that you are someone genuine, sincere, someone nurturing, but then they go out and smear your name and say, you are a uh, uh, cold hearted. You're a narcissist. You don't care about other people. You only care about yourself. Um, you're lazy and a slacker. You're uh, superficial, things like that. They lie basically, right? But then people start to see for themselves that, wait, hold on now. Two and two are not adding up. You told us this person was this way. But what we're seeing is completely different from what you told us. Explain yourself, sir. Explain yourself, ma'am. And they cannot because everything they've been doing and saying about you is a lie, right? The, tr the lie will spread very fast, but the truth will fix it in a second. So anyways, this couple... It's disappointed because you're still moving forward. You still have this opportunity that's coming towards you. There could be a king of pen, a king of swords for some of you that's coming towards you to move forward or bring balance into your life because they see the truth about the matter. Someone is upset because you're taking a stance in your life, laying down the law. You don't want anything to do with the past because you know the past is filled with a lot of snakes. They just slither, slither around all freaking day. They're not doing anything productive. All they do is cause mayhem, right? So they know you don't want anything to do with the past. Someone want, is wanting to bring balance into a situation, which is why we have this King of Swords and this uh, Wheel of Fortune in here. Well, that's part of the reason. Because they think if they tell the truth, bring something to your attention, it's going to move things in your favor and this is going to bring balance. Um, and then someone in here is hoping that if they do the right thing, that they're going to stop experiencing karma. We are all going to have to pay our karma. No, one's, no one is exempt from karma, except a select few who are born with protection around them so that no one can cause harm to them. Like you can lie to lie on them. You can uh, 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 do a lot of things as far as, you know, being dishonest about who they are, lying and things like that. But as far as you come into on a life, that person, before you make it to them, you'll be on a life yourself. Mysteriously, you may end up in a car accident. You may end up being arrested by the police. Um, and supernatural things will just happen on your way to go on a life that starts see. That's how it's set up. Okay, so this mental conflict these people have been wanting to cause you is actually happening to them. Um, they are at a stalemate. They don't know what to do. It's that like they keep trying to do you harm, do you something out of that, but it's just not happening. 
um, and it is pissing them off. These people are ha are falling from grace. People are seeing the truth about them. People know exactly who they are, what they've been doing, because these are people that have been walking around pretending to be something that they are not, but the truth is being revealed. A lot of these people are losing quite a lot. It's like they're losing a lot of their finances, their stability, the luxury, luxurious lifestyle they are accustomed to and things like that. It's all coming to an end, and that's because they were warned multiple times to stop what they were what they were doing. And you know how karmics do; they karmic. They're gonna keep karmicking because they have a point to to prove to each other. Even though they're coming after you and nothing is happening, they still have a point to prove. And when you live like that, where you think you have a point to prove, something is wrong with you. You need healing. If you're picking a fight with someone and the fight is one sided. Someone is not responding to your shenanigans. It's like these people that get under social media content creators uh, of videos and put stupid things under there. And then they think we're going to respond. Honey, we don't care. You are helping us. Keep commenting. Keep viewing. The fact that you are commenting no, we, lets us know that you are aware of our content being out on this platform. So we thank you for the support. We do not discriminate in views around here so keep viewing keep supporting thank you for being a day one okay so anyways you are showing up as the queen of pentacles here your resources are protected your inheritance is protected you will be living a beautiful life you're about to be stepping into abundance um you know maybe some of you are coming out of a period of stagnation and things like that and it's quite okay we all go through these times in life this is part of the cycle of life right this king of pentacles i mean king of cups may be trapped in something there's something he involved himself in without knowing the whole truth. This is someone that's having a lot of mental conflict. Some of you, this King of Cups may be going to jail, maybe facing some legal consequences for actions he took against you. Someone could have the, did something with like your cell phone, your computers, things like that. And they may be facing some legal actions behind the scenes that you are not aware of. This person is living in a lot of fear. For some of you, this is someone that you were meant to have some type of contract with. And this contract is possibly over because of them betraying you, right? Uh, so this person is living in fear. But they may be choosing to still come towards you regardless of the amount of fear they are having. They still want to come towards you to make you some type of offer. I don't know about that. Think about it. There's a reason why this person is showing up here with the Eight of Swords after him. He did something. He did something. The Eight of Swords is extremely lethal. It doesn't just appear by accident in a read and after someone who's supposed to be a queen, King of Cups. So there's something this person, there's some beans that need to be spilled by this person. Um, and they are afraid of coming towards you with this love offer because they know you are someone intuitive, someone gifted. So you're going to know the truth about the matter. You're going to know that something is up. They know that the gig is up and they're going to have to confess. And this is something they may not want to do, which is why they're coming to you with this immature love offer, right? If this was a genuine offer, this Knight of Cups would have been right after their King of Cups. But you see the separation. There is the eight of cup, the eight of swords, followed by the moon. So this person knows that you know. You know that Kevin Hart's joke. You know that I know that you know that I know that you know that I know. Mm -hmm. It's one of those situations. So this person at some point may not even bother to come to worship because they just. They're too ashamed of the actions they took against you based on a lie. There is some type of offer that was supposed to come to you and people interfere with this. You were supposed to have a new beginning in finances, in business, and things like that. Like a new seed was supposed to be planted between you and possibly this King of Cups. But because of what this person did by helping people smear your character, lie on you, and things like that block your work, there is going to be no new beginning in love because you have your source pulled out to this person and the rest of their partners in crime. You are not here for the BS, right? You're not here for the BS. Like people should have a mind of their own. If someone comes to you and tells you, oh, she did this or she did, she's that way. She's a liar. She's a whole, she's a, like, sir, ma'am, go find the truth out about your, 
go find the truth out for yourself. Let's all get to a point where when people come to us to gossip about a, another person, that we go and find the truth out. If you come to me and tell me that Billie Jean is a home wrecker, well, now I have to know the T. I am going to ask Billie Jean. Billie Jean, I heard that you are a home wrecker. Is that true? Right? Because I don't want Billie Jean coming to work every day or to school every day with me looking at Billie Jean like she's a home wrecker when Billie Jean is not a home wrecker. So if I consider myself to be a friend of Billie Jean, I am going to bring attention to what I heard about Billie Jean. And even if I'm not a friend of Billie Jean and I hear that Billie Jean is a home wrecker, I'm not going to judge Billie Jean by that because this is coming from a third party. That third party could be a hater of Billie Jean because Billie Jean has it going on, okay? Billie Jean could be fly, a two-piece, and a biscuit, and someone could be a hater because she's that. So you tell me something about Billie Jean, and I, you know, will go and talk to Billie Jean because that's how it's supposed to be. Don't come to me, don't come to tell me lies if you don't want me to find out the truth. Anyways, there's no new beginning in love with you in this King of Cups because they screwed up really bad. And this is why it's imperative for us to have our own mind, to think for ourselves. Group thinking, as I always say, is something extremely dangerous. We should not be promoting group thinking. Let's not involve ourselves in things like that. Have a mind of your own. Okay, I don't care how weird you think you are or how weird people think you are. It is a compliment. Being weird means that you are in charge of your own journey. You are someone that's in charge of your path. You have taken charge of your purpose. You walk your own path. People don't guide your path. You guide your own path. So you don't care what people think of you. What matters to you at the end of the day is that you are happy. Okay. Now, you see some of us, we're out here doing tarot, and the rest of the people in the world probably look at us like we're crazy. They call us mentally sta mentally unstable, uh, mentally ill, all types of things. We don't care. That's why we get on here every day and post these videos, okay? Because we have a connection with Source that is different from what other people have. We all, each and every one of us, have a very unique connection to Source, ours is in is ours is through divination, especially me. I have all the different clairs and then some. That's my relationship with Source. Source feels that I am worthy of having all of those abilities and things like that because I'm respectful of the re abilities I have. Right. Some of the things I can do are a little bit scary, but because I'm respectful of people's privacy and things like that, you'll never hear me talking about I looked into this person's life or I did this with this person or did this to that person. It would never be me, okay? Someone is not taking action anymore to come against you, to cause you some type of illusion. Someone has lost passion for this smear campaign, this collaboration. They're moving on with their life. They're going within to see the truth. They're, they're being sat down basically, being humble, being told that they need to make better decisions. Someone is being forced to reflect on the actions that they took, especially for the type of person they are. They're showing up here as a hermit as well. So this is someone that's supposed to be mature, wise, things of that nature, but they choose to operate from a lower vibrational energy because of money and because of the influence of the types of people that they choose to surround themselves with, right? So they are being forced to sit down and reflect over the choices that they made. They say, hey, you know you effed up, right? And they're probably like, yeah, I know. I really effed up with this person. I really effed up. And now this person is hoping that things can go in your favor. They're hoping that balance can be brought into, into the situation because they know what they participated in was unjust, right? They're having a lot of nightmares, a lot of mental conflict, a lot of regrets. A lot of these people are. But some of these people are so stubborn, they're going to keep going because that's how they're built as karmics. People that are not willing to do the work. I had a vision not too long ago of someone hiring a gang member to come and unalive someone else. It said you have to be extremely broken. One, to be willing to hire someone to go unalive another person for resources or for whatever re reason. And then two, the poor gang member. Some of these people have been groomed for so long in those settings that they don't know the truth. They're being led astray, but they feel forced into those lifestyles and things like that. So they feel like they have to do what they're being told to do. And their focus is money. 
money rules the world, right? Money talk, BS walk. So anytime you show them a dollar, they accept it. Some of these people's souls are long gone, right? Their souls are tired. They're walking around like almost empty vessels that don't have souls. They have souls, but their souls are just really tired from the lifestyles they're living, from incarnating lifetime after lifetime and repeating the same karma. They're tired, but no one is telling them the truth. So they are constantly incarnating and repeating the same cycle, right? You have religious folks, preachers that come out here and preach these false messages that entrap people, put people in a mental box, in a matrix that they cannot get out of. And then you, the spiritualist, the, uh, the, the, the terror reader, the psychic, the medium, whatever you want to call yourself, you come here and you speak the truth and then people criticize you, they chastise you and say that you have mental illness, um, you need to be put in a mental asylum and things like that. But it's like, no, I'm here to help you because the people you have around you do not mean you well. I'm here to free you, okay? Anyways, that's enough of my preaching. Someone from your past wanted to come in and steal from you, but they cannot. This is someone you want nothing to do with. It's that you don't have any fond memories of this person from the past, but they have fond memories of you. They're thinking about all the good times they had with you. Some of you, these are mothers, these are sisters, they are, these are cousins, extended family members that are thinking fond of you, but they know the actions that they took against you because of finances and things like that, so they cannot come towards you. So this is like the past cannot return. Like this, the chapter or the season you had with these people is over. They are over. There is no reconnection. There is no going back to the past. You cannot turn back time on, time on earth, right? Time just moves forward on earth. I mean, in the rest of the universe, you can travel backwards. This is why we have astral projections and things like that. You can travel to any time in history or in the universe that you want to. But in the waking world on earth, you cannot just travel to another dimension, right? Um, you have to do that when you extra project or, you know, that, that, that there's like in the sleep state and things like that. There's a reason why it's that way, because people will be abusing their powers and things like that. If we could just decide, hey, I'm going to go to 1975 or I'm going to go to 2054. Yeah, people will be abusing that. The, all of these illusions are over. You have a lot of opportunities coming towards you, Starcy. And these are opportunities people have been blocking for you. People think that, oh, she's already a Starcy. She's an angel. Oh, he's a Starcy. He's an angel. He doesn't need any more opportunities. She doesn't need any more opportunities. That's not for you to decide. Excuse you. That is not for you to decide. That is for the most high to decide. So have several seats, Okay. These opportunities that you have coming in, be mindful of which one you go with because you don't want to end up causing some type of stagnation by getting into the wrong contract, uh, aligning with the wrong people and things like that. As many opportunities as there are coming towards you, make sure you think about what it is you're accepting, what you're involving yourself in because you have a very beautiful uh, destiny and purpose on this earth. You're someone that has a lot of gift. You're mentally balanced, emotionally balanced, spiritually balanced. You are very gifted. You're showing up here as the star C and the magician. That is powerful. That is extremely powerful. This means that you are, you are someone that has put in quite a lot of work to be who you are, what you are, your relationship with the universe is not something that just came by, blase, blase. You have put in a lot of work. You've been incarnating for lifetimes, working your karma, learning your lessons and things like that. And you are now at the point of ascension where you are in control of your destiny, your mind, your forward movement, everything. You are a powerful manifester, right? You have all of the necessary tools that you need to create the lifestyle that you want, right? And you are a truth teller and then you have the audacity to be someone that stands up for yourself and you stand up for what's right, right? Oh my Lord, you are powerful, just amazing, right? It takes a lot of work to get to where you are. A lot of, uh, of failures, but you're learning through those failures. A lot of disappointments, but you're learning through those disappointments. A lot of betrayals, but you're learning through those betrayals. And those are the experiences that you have to be willing to go through in order to become a star seed, a magician, and to be showing up 
with the is of source energy. You are the truth and no one can take that away from you regardless of what they do. Okay. You are stealing under karma waters. Everything people have been stealing from you, taking from you, whatsoever they've been doing in the background is no longer being allowed. It's that the universe was sitting back and letting these people make a fool out of themselves, entertain the universe, your ancestors and yourself. You know, karmics, they will do things. They think because you're not there, you don't know what's going on. Or sometimes they'll even have the audacity to do it around you. And because you don't say anything, they'll keep doing it. Only for them to find out at the end that you that you always knew what was going on, but you let people exercise their free will. And me, I take that to a thousand percent. I'll never open my mouth to tell you, hey, I know what you did last night. I know you uh, 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 broke into my phone and you gave my information to someone. Hey, I know you were in my email. I'm not going to say nothing. When I see you, I will be very pleasant with you, courteous with you always because I know what's coming for you. That would be one of my gifts. I always know what's coming for you. Okay? So don't ever waste your time trying to, you know, argue with people on things like that. Let them do what they want to do. They will find out at the end. Okay? So, you know, you're rising from the ashes. You are the phoenix rising from the ashes. Justice is being brought into your life. Balance is being brought into your life. You are the chosen what your ones, your ancestors have chosen you for this calling to heal your bloodline, to restore your bloodline. Some of you come from e Egyptian bloodlines, Atlanteans bloodlines and things like that. That is why I have my YouTube thumbnail is either a, 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 an Atlantean or an Egyptian on there. And that is because of my roots, right? From Africa and things like that. I've seen, I've seen myself in many lifetimes. So I know exactly who I am. Everything on my channel is there um, for a reason. It's not accidental. Even my set, my tarot sets that you see, my table, my arts and things like that. Every crystal you see on here, glass and things like that, they are all there for a reason. They are not accidental. They are not just there because, right? They are there for a reason. Like the amethyst crystal, I have that out there because my soul guy is a a a, 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 a purple color, right? So my guardian angel is purple, so I have amethyst crystal on my uh, table. My color is purple in the spiritual realm. I show up as blue in certain realms as well. So I have purple and some blue and things like that. So nothing on, nothing you see on my platform is by accident. I know exactly who I am. I'm very intentional with the things I do. But when you meet me, you may think that I'm mentally ill. But I'm not, darling. I'm just light years ahead of you. And I'm just hoping that you will do the work to catch up to me so that you can understand that I'm not retarded. I'm just somewhere that you haven't made it yet, but I'm waiting for you to make it there. I'm praying for you to make it there with me. Okay. So your hard work is protected. Your focus, and this is what you're being encouraged to do is to focus, continue to rise up from the ashes and protect what it is you're working on. Stand your ground. Do not let anyone shake you. Do not let anyone make you think that you are not worthy of the blessings and opportunities the universe is sending towards you. You are absolutely worthy and continue to take charge of your life and move forward. Stay blessed.